hello, this is Light and Bone Tarot. Thank you so much for being here and letting me read for you. We are doing a reading. Um, this is about your future career path possibly, and it's what you can look forward to if you leave your current job um, or if you pursue a new career. So I have four Ten of Pentacles cards from four different decks. And to me, the Pentacles are like, they're all about just security, foundation, wealth, success, career, home. Like they're just my favorite suit. And the 10 of pentacles is kind of like the pinnacle of the pentacles. I feel like it's just the ultimate, um, happiness from like a career and even like relationship standpoint in a lot of ways. So these are four 10 of pentacle cards from four different decks. So I want you to pick your favorite pentacle card and that is going to be your pile. So you can zoom in on these before my um, phone or whatever decides to zoom out. So yeah, ton of pentacles. I just, it's really just finding the right picture and whatever speaks to you and that's your pile. So look for your timestamp in the comments or in the description below and I will have your reading. Thank you. Hi. Goodbye. Thank you so much for being here. We are doing a reading for what you can look forward to if you leave your job or pursue a new career. So these are just, um, this is going to be probably just signs that you're on the right path if you do this and yeah what you can look forward to and maybe what's missing currently and just it's going to be a positive reading hopefully supporting the notion that you should move into a different career path or job or company or whatever it is so um we'll see what the cards show but you picked this deck it's definitely one of my favorites and there's words here it says inheritance family and prosperity so this is your deck i'm gonna leave this here it's just like a signifier card this is your energy like we're moving into all these things inheritance prosperity family love life you name it like things are looking up so i'm just going to start with the direct question i'm going to pull three cards and i just want to see right out the gates like what can you look forward to if you leave your job so um let's see what there is for you if you do that we have king of wands ten of cups and four of pentacles um okay there's a lot of this to me speaks a little bit more to like less of the success that would come your way which I, it's not saying that won't happen at all but this is more of like the happiness that will come your way this is more of like a big picture like if you leave your current job or if you are currently searching for a new job with this new job, this new career path, this new venture, whatever it is, uh, the Ten of Cups tells me that there's this, just this kind of like happiness that's going to wash over you. Um, this absolutely can play out like from in your family. Um, it's like, it's going to have a trickle down effect. It's going to make you so much happier. And I will probably say the word happy like way too many times, but it's just this overwhelming notion of like, this is what you need. You need this for your sanity. You need this for your family. You need this for the people you love. Like this is very much like this is, this is what you need. So maybe you didn't realize that before, but maybe there was stress or you didn't have enough time, or maybe you needed things that your last job wasn't giving you, but it, it really is like a very positive notion that this new path, this new career, whatever this is, will give you this. So it is a very beautiful card combined with the king of wands and the four of pentacles uh what you can look forward to is it, the king of wands to me it's this it's like this passion it's this kind of loving being king it's like feeling a little bit maybe on top of the world you can do anything but you can do it because you're like lit up you're feeling yourself you're like just you're where you want to be you're doing what you want to do it just it isn't a card of like it's the opposite of being in a slump or feeling uninspired it's very much this like i'm just living my dream i'm living my passions i'm fueling my passions there's fuel here there's fire um and the four of pentacles this is like the most unexciting card in this pile of three this is about saving this is about stability this is about like structure um there's this sense of like kind of like digging your heels in and like staying put a little whatever that means but what I see in that is like this happiness, this prosperity, this, this, it's going to make you want to save. It's going to make you want to build something. It's not going to make you feel like, oh, I just have to spend this money and like reward myself because I'm so stressed that I need to like, it's like, it's going to make you want to be better and do better and have more as a result of being in this new space. Like it's almost like maybe this will give you 
the new opportunity like for the new home or the new location there's just there's a stability that comes off of this but it's like it's a stability you want it's not like a forced savings or anything like that it's like okay because I actually have the money coming in now I actually want to start saving it's kind of like that energy and I feel like you're not going to feel like you need all these different outlets or these different kind of like even like vices or something like you're just going to feel a little bit more like balanced that's what you can look forward to um actually yeah balance and stability um and even the stability could be you're going to want to stay in this new job whatever this is whatever comes your way it's something you're going to want to like stick with it's just going to feel like you've kind of found your place you're going to truly you're going to feel inspired you're going to feel just like that yeah like you're where you should be and as a result of that like you're just gonna feel on fire like it's just everything like your health your gut everything's just gonna start like amping up i just think you're gonna be like this healthy happy like vibrant person as a result of it this really is like three incredibly it's a beautiful message if we ask what you can look forward to like i couldn't i don't know i couldn't have pulled three better cards to imply that like absolutely <laughs> your whole ten of pentacles like dream it is truly it's coming to you this is this is a really nice thing um and i want to see this is a heavier deck so i'm going to ask kind of like a darker question because this is definitely like warm and fuzzy on the top um what did it's either your current job that you know you want to leave and this is a sign saying like yes you should leave it or maybe you've just left your current job for whatever reason and you're seeking this new job and you want the validation but what is this like either current or very recently past job like what did this actually how did this feel to you and um where were you headed so i'm going to do how did you feel memory and where were you headed trickery um i don't think it means anything about memory or trickery to be honest but how did you feel um okay the memory card and this is this is a little heavy and so bear with me either your current job feels this way or it just felt this way but this is kind of like there you aren't you're thinking of who you were back when like oh remember when i was like so driven and so excited or remember when i was like xyz and now i'm just x or whatever like it's just this like maybe you look back and you think geez I really didn't think I'd be here it makes you think of remember when but like not necessarily with a fondness more of like a there's almost a little bit of regret like this memory piece is this like ooh, god I wish I kind of had that energy back or that flair or that passion it, it yeah it's kind of sad and there is this this memory card could probably be interpreted in other ways but that's really how I see it here like this job makes you think that um there's a part of you that you haven't developed or you haven't experienced because you're looking back at the past like more fondly and it's really remembering who you were at one point and it's almost like you're kind of this shadow of that now which is really dark and i don't i mean i hope that's not even entirely accurate but um yeah so jesus what were the questions where you were and where you're where you'd be going with this job okay i think i said where would you be going with this job but um, this is your like not nice job or the one that you want to leave or the change that you want to make let's put it that way and it doesn't mean this job is shit at all it could be a great job it could I don't know pay a ton of money it could be like a path that you've been working hard towards for a very long time but for whatever it is at this point in your life like at this juncture it's just not it's not where you want to be or you aren't there for whatever reason it but you know there's something else you know there's something more and um yeah, I mean, this this is my whole professional career of the last 20 years, like in a nutshell. There's always something more, something better. Um, but most people don't experience this as frequently as I do. But I feel like this is still a message to be like, there is something better for you. Um, trickery, I feel like, I don't know, it, it's, it's kind of like dark as it seems. It's almost like you're, you're tricking yourself. Like there's a part of you that's like kind of you know like willing yourself to stay in it like making yourself really feel that it's better than it is or telling yourself like look this is fine i can stick this out i can do this for however many more years or i'll just wait for like the promotion or i'll just you know whatever but like i i feel like there's this part of you that would really like to make this change um and the trickery is it's kind of you tricking yourself and i don't think it's done you any favors and I feel like if you're here watching this that you're just at a point where you realize it probably isn't um isn't ideal like you're not in your ideal space but the memory card is a little more like 
poignant for me and a little like like more of a gut punch. Um, the trickery is just like, oh yeah, how many times have you told yourself that you'll take care of it when, or maybe there wouldn't be something else for you, so you have to stay in this role, or this is the most you're gonna make in this field, or I don't wanna start over from scratch. Like those kind of um, talks you give yourself. There's a word I'm looking for, I can't think of it. But that dialogue, I guess, is, yeah, that's the trickery piece here. I hear like I just want to see you at this point in your life like where's your world where's your life right now and maybe this will help support why you if you haven't left this position yet and you're just thinking about it and you're just kind of like dreaming about it um why it would be a good thing so I want to see like you right now and just your world a little bit and um this will help so we've got three of cups we've got strength and we have the knight of swords I don't know why I really, I don't know, something about the Three of Cups and then with Strength, I got a family vibe off of this. I got this kind of like, like this message of family or wanting to take care of not only yourself but other people. There's very much this sense of like, this, I don't know why, it's like almost like this duty or this kind of you feel obligated in a way and truly that isn't exactly a message exactly off of the three of cups the three of cups is like it's kind of this friendship it's this joy it's this community it's coming together but I feel like your job allows for this to happen and your job I don't know maybe it some this it, I just feel like somehow you want to enrich an aspect of your family or like where you stand socially there's just more abundance and people that you need around you whether you're lacking that or whether you don't have the resources currently to like enjoy this like maybe you want to take more vacations with you for your family you want to actually spend more time with your family in like a quality way or you want to do the things that would make you more relaxed and be around your family there's just a sense of like this joy and abundance sense that I, I feel like is, is lacking somehow and I, I yeah the strength also I feel like you're being relied on quite a bit and there's a there is a weight here but with the strength you don't you don't mind this weight you do it you you speak to it it's fine you don't mind if people rely on you for whatever the financial I don't want to say burden but like weight may be but you you you're aware of it and I do think there is a message here of like more money but it's not just more money so like you can buy more things it's more money so you can have a higher quality of life like so that you can get the massages if you're stressed so you can take the vacations that are going to like help you keep going it's like just more to enjoy your time at a higher quality um, and in somehow this includes other people like there's enjoy this enjoying this time with other people that is big to you and maybe you haven't had enough of that um yeah that's that's the message I get here and the knight of swords is kind of like off on its own but this to me is like <sighs> In this context, it is a bit about like, you owe it to yourself to find that thing that just kind of sets your mind buzzing. Like it is this, I want, there's a little excitement that goes with this. There's a little bit of like self like respect. There's this like, like, look at me, look what I'm doing. Like I've, I've got that. It's like, I'm on fire. Everyone look at me. And not that it this but not necessarily from like an ego driven way but just in a like you, you kind of want that and so with this new job it would have a little more maybe clout but that's not even a direct correlation to how the feeling but it is more of like a there's just a little more excitement that you would feel off of it maybe this new job could be a little flashier it could make you feel like just a little bit more on top of the world but also it, it ignites you it brings something alive in you where you're like I'm functioning on a different level than I was in my last job like just that's it like I'm I'm fired up I wasn't using this part of my brain in my last job and I always wished I was and I always got like self-conscious that I wasn't and I just I want that and I want people to look at me and know like I know exactly what I'm doing and I'm killing it and I'm doing it very well and I'm I don't know and maybe I don't know maybe that that's just me speaking like directly but that's what I get out of this so you really do want these things and it does seem like a message that if you were to leave this job or if you're searching for a new one if this all tracks for you this is like very much what you can look forward to so i like this this ten of pentacles cards there's very much this sense of like there's just a family 
feeling to this. And a family can be anything. It can be like one person and their animals. It can be someone and their mom or dad, or it can be like just a full on family, a married couple. It doesn't matter, but it's like, it's your unit. It's your space. It's your, you know, it's you happy at home. It's just your happiness. It's your, um, the vibe that makes you happy. You know, it's just that this isn't like, you don't want a new job so you can buy in this pile, I don't think that you want a new job so that you can buy fancy new things and that you can buy that car. Um, there is nothing, there isn't really a lot of ego attached to this. It's more of like there's this deeper kind of visceral, like, I want this for my, the happiest, of, the happiness of myself and the people I love around me, whatever, whomever that is. So that's the vibe. Very warm, very loving, very like communal for whatever that means for you. Um, very sweet, very positive, And yeah, there's a lot of depth here. And I do feel like if you analyzed <laughs> how you feel in your current job or one that you just left, it would feel pretty dark. It would actually feel pretty grim if you dug into it. So, um, okay. I, I hope this, tra not only do I really hope this tracks, but I hope this, like, this is what unfolds for you. So I do believe this was your pile for a reason. And I believe that if this tracks for you, it will unfold for you in this way. So I hope it does. And thank you so much for listening. Goodbye. Hello. Thank you so much for being here and letting me read for you. We are doing a reading for, um, this is like a career. Uh, it's like a very positive career it's a reading about where you're going professionally. Okay. Um, and this is what you can look forward to if you leave your job or if you pursue a new career. And this is pile two. Uh, this is the 10 of pentacles card for this amazing. It's one of my favorite decks, even though for the life of me, I can't think of the name of it, but it's a really beautiful deck. And I don't know, there's something kind of like whimsical and fun and ever so slightly playful about this. Um, so I, yeah, I like that you picked this card and we are going to get right into this. The last reading was honestly, I think it was brilliant. Um, and I hope this one is, is just as amazing because it, it definitely, it told a very clear story. So, um, yeah, let's see. I want to see just completely right out the gates, what you can look forward to if you leave your job or if you're currently pursuing a new job, like what that looks, what that looks like and what you can look forward to. So, um, let's see. Okay. So we have the tower, which I actually like, and I'll explain why four of pentacles and oh my gosh movement of swords movement of swords this would be the knight of swords movement is the knight okay this is um this is definitely there's okay so it's not as warm and fuzzy as the last reading and it shouldn't be because this is your pile it's totally different but it tells a clear story and i want to say it's very much like you can look forward to something totally freaking different than what you know now in a good way, but it is definitely like, it is definitely something that you haven't quite experienced before. Um, I think it's like a whole new energy, a whole new vibe. I think it brings like a whole new set of, there's this new excitement that comes along with it. There's this new, in some ways it might feel like you're starting from scratch, but like you are going to be leaning in with so much, um, so much dedication, so much like sharpness of mind, so much excitement. There is just going to be a lot happening here that you are going to like really, really want to feel and be a part of. It is, there's a sense of excitement. Okay. So as I said, I, I just feel this unique energy coming off of this and it's something different. And I think that if you're here, I, in other words, I think you're seeking something different. I think you're seeking that excitement, that sharpness, that edge, that like, you just want to feel alive. You want to feel like you could, you know, give this job or this role or this career, or whatever it is, like you're everything and it, like something you could work on. I don't know, like 10 hours a day, every day for the next year. And you would still be like ignited by it. So that's what I get. And even the four of pentacles, which is funny because this did come up in the last reading in the exact same position. Um, it makes me think you want to stick with this. Like this is, this is going to be the direction that you're going to want to stick with. It's going to feel like you just want to like dig your heels in. Like you want to set roots. Like you want you, like you're finally, you finally found where you belong and you don't want to go anywhere. So that is what you can expect. If you leave your current job, the next career you pursue, the next career you land in, you are going to feel this kind of energy off of it. And you're going to feel it right away. It's going to hit you like a ton of bricks. Like you're just going to be like, holy shit. Like this is it. I'm all in. This is where I should be doing. Kind of like if you were just starting out as like a kid out of college and that like excitement. 
Um, that's kind of the energy that you would get with this. So, okay, great. I am going to get these two cards, which are a little bit heavier, and I want to see for the career you either are currently in that you're seeking to leave or the position, or if you've just left, what what that was kind of doing to you or what it what it is doing to you. So in other words, like why do you like and not only why do you want to leave, which is one of the cards I'm going to turn over, but like, what's it doing to you? Like, what's the energy in this role that you can really feel that you want to leave? Um, ghosts and what's it doing to you? Bond. So, okay. The ghost is, I think the energy is you've outgrown this. You're meant for better things and you know it. You know that like basically you've hit the top. Um, it's almost like without being very grim, there's no more up for you. Um, very much, and I think you've seen a lot of people leave or turn over or move on or explore a past that got them, like people have gone and you're kind of still there. It's almost like you've exceeded your, your stay. Um, you've outgrown your role. You are underutilized, whatever it is. It's just this sense of like your time to depart has, has come and gone. Or if you have just left, like good, because it was definitely your time. Um, which explains why you would want this like fire and this like just this energy that's going to come off of it that you don't have here and gosh I totally forgot what I asked this card um just what you can look forward to oh, oh my gosh I don't remember what I asked for this and I'm sorry for that but whatever it is I'm just going to say this is like oh my gosh I'm so sorry all I can say is why you should leave um and why why you're making the right decision, like why you're in the right place if this is your head set. And there's something, okay, so Bond is very, crows are funny creatures. They're, there's a lot of depth in crows. They're very smart. They're very connected. Um, I almost feel like they're, the message here is you either had like an unhealthy relationship with this job, like you were staying in it because you were like depending on it in a way, like you were too scared to make a change. In other words, like you were latching onto it. You were, it was safe. Um, you know, maybe it was giving you everything you needed, but it was like the minimal amount of it. And you just kind of like, you took it. Um, it's almost like when you're in a relationship where you really don't get anything out of it, but maybe it's a safe space or you're with someone that like doesn't cheat on you, but they're totally like a snooze fest or whatever. I don't know. It's just that feeling of like, like this weird codependency. Um, so, or maybe you became like really close with your team or your manager and you like didn't want to let them down. I don't know, but it was this, it's this feeling like you've really got to move on. There's something very soul sucking, very like you're just depleted. The fire isn't there. The energy isn't there. Your spark isn't there. Um, I just feel like there's this dullness, this kind of like darkness coming off of you. Not dark as in, in evil, but dark as in like there's no light. Like there's this excitement, this, this vibrancy. Um, it's not quite quite there for you in the career you have or the one you just left. So moving forward, you are going to have all this vibrancy and it's going to be very, it's just going to be intoxicating and exciting and something that you're going to like, just get completely fueled from. And the tower to me is like this, it is, it's this lightning strike. Like you're just going to get this bolt of like energy and inspiration. And you're just, you're going to want so bad to make it work in every way. And you're going to be like firing on all cylinders. It's going to be that kind of a feeling. Um, yeah, I hope that sounds good to you. Okay. So I want to see now in three cards. Um, I don't know what can you, what you can expect? Like we know what you can look forward to, but like, what is this, what kind of changes is this going to change? <laughs> What's going to change in your world as a result of this? And, um, what are just some like pros that you can kind of look forward to that maybe would be even unexpected? So we have Skyfather, which is <laughs> what the, hell is Skyfather? the emperor, basically, this deck. Every deck has their own twist, and it's, it's a bit much at times. Um, this is basically the Knight of Wands. I just really like this deck. Okay, so what you can look forward to. Wow, very positive, very positive. Um, absolute passion. It's almost like you're going to have this kind of love affair with this new position. You're going to feel just like such a master, like you're just going to feel like you're just, you're the king. This is your world. You, the emperor, it's like the epitome of just like the person who calls the shots. It's your, it's your world. It's your domain. It's your everything. It's, you're going to feel so good. I mean, you really are going to feel like a king. And I, I just, 
but also there's going to be the sense of respect. Like you're going to have more respect for yourself and then you're going to get more respect in return. But really you're just going to have so much self-respect. You're going to see yourself in a whole new way. Like your reflection in the mirror is going to look different. You're just, everything's going to feel different. Um, Nine of cups, it's, it's kind of going to feel like your wish came through. Like you just died and went to heaven. Like this is everything you ever wanted. Um, almost that kind of like pinch me feeling like you're going to get that feeling of like, I, I knew I wanted this. I just never thought I could actually have it kind of thing. Um, and the movement of wands, this is basically the knight of wands, which is very much a card of like, I mean, it's action. It's complete passion. It's like coming in hot, going hard. It's very much, it's someone who, it's just a, it's just a young, hot 20 something, basically. Like you're just going to have the energy and the passion and the like freaking drive and desire of like, just I don't know, like a hot 20 something male, female, whatever it means. Like you're just, you're going to be like at your prime, basically. Let's put it that way. You're going to feel like you're in your prime. And I think this is like mentally, this is physically, this is like the excitement you're going to feel, the aliveness. And it, that also makes me think like, if you like, maybe from a relationship standpoint or like I don't know if you're married or if you're in a relationship or even if you're single, like whoever, whatever partner you want or you are with, they're going to feel this like sense of just a renewed sense of you. And that also comes through in the emperor. There's very much this, this trickle down it's going to have in your personal life that speaks to like just the dynamicism of like how it's going to affect your relationships. And I mean, everything from like, I don't know your sex drive. Maybe you haven't had one. Maybe you've been really kind of just in a funk and down and out and you haven't been like feeling yourself and it's just like now you're going to really feel alive like you're going to feel like you've just got something to give and I mean way beyond that of like a mojo you're really going to feel like you're I don't know like you're a contributing member of society and everyone knows it and um more than that though because that even sounds like I mean you could get a job a Taco Bell literally and be a contributing member of society so I that's not entirely accurate I see this more as like you're going to be um like someone would almost seek your advice. Like they'd want your input. They'd want you to weigh in on things. Like there's just this sense of, I don't know, it's a renewed you and it's going to look good on you. It's going to feel good and it's it's exciting. So um, this whole hollow shell ghost, these feelings you have about like shoulda, coulda, woulda and wow, it's just me here now or oh my goodness, like it's just me and the skeletons. It, like no, get rid of this. This is... This is like old stale. There's a staleness here that I just, I don't like. And this is even creepier, if I'm being honest. There's something about this where it's like, why are you still there? Um, or what took you so long to leave? Just very like, ugh. Um, so yeah, this is exciting for you. And I'm going to wrap it up here because if I keep talking about it, I'll say the same thing over and over. But there's this, and it fits the deck. It fits the motif. There's an intensity here that is, almost like a little dark but very very exciting very exciting and you're going places and I don't even know what's in store for you but there's some like adventure there's some excitement in store for you and honestly I think it's something that like you never knew you could even be excited by like there's just this like ooh, what's around the corner and yeah I think having more resources um just more vivaciousy like whatever um, it's all going to lead to that. Like there's just this new path, this new door opening for you. Um, okay. This is your reading. I hope you liked it and I am excited for you. So please like subscribe, comment, let me know what you think. Goodbye. Hello. Thank you so much for being here and letting me read for you. We are doing a reading entitled what you can look forward to if you leave your job or pursue a new career. Um, so yeah, whether you are in a job that you're looking to leave or whether you are like actively pursuing a new career, this is what you can look forward to. So here we go. Um, this is your Ten of Pentacles card that you picked, Pile 3. And I don't know, there's a vibe off this card where it's just like, it's like I'm good. Like I'm, I'm solid. Like I, like I'm a boss. It just has that boss energy to it where there's like almost like no fucks and I'm doing my thing. Don't mess with me. Like it's a very kind of there's a little bit of like ego coming off it, but I like it because this is, it's your time to shine. Like that's the whole, I think, energy behind this reading or this topic. So it's like, yeah, good for you. You've, you've done it. You're doing it. Um, maybe you've always done it and now you're doing it even better. I don't know. But like, this is, this is you in a very like kind of badass way. So, um, 
Okay, what you can look forward to. I'm gonna ask straight up, what can you look forward to? And um, let's see what that is. So we've got Queen of Wands, the High Priestess. I love these cards. Uh, Seven of Pentacles, okay. You know, it's a little more vague than the last two piles, but it's a positive message all the same. Obviously, the Seven of Pentacles, um, you can look forward to hard work. The other piles didn't have anything about work, but this is definitely like, this is you and like emotionally and physically investing yourself. However, you want this. This is something you want. This is, and I, I think this actually is more of like a passion. This is you going in the direction of a passion. Um, this is you like, Okay, the last pile, I just have to compare it to kind of like see the, the big picture here. The last pile was like someone who was like going after like this like, to me like high level kind of energy, like high buzz, high vibe, high like I'm killing it. I'm like a boss bitch kind of energy. This is more of like, there's an artistic piece here. There's this like, you, you want something that makes you work your ass off because you want to want to work your ass off. You want that feeling. You're not afraid of hard work and you probably are desperate for something where you have a little bit of like a creative input or just more of like a hands dirty kind of feeling. Um, but this is something that you're going to be absolutely like seen and like not just respected, but you're going to be seen in a way that you haven't before. Like there's going to be this sense of like, I don't know, like you found your place and you're doing exactly what you were meant to do. There's just that feeling. There's a sense of like things are finally going to gel for you. Um, and I think whatever this is, the high priestess, there's this like mystique to it, this mystery, this intrigue. Um, there's like a big feminine energy off of this, but in a, in a way that everyone wants. Everyone wants this kind of feminine energy because it's an allure. It's a mystique. It's, it's again, it's a mystery. All the words I just said. Um, this new job, it, I feel like it's something you've always known you could do. It might have been something like as a kid that you said, I want to be an astronaut or whatever. And like now you're going to be an astronaut. It's something you've always thought you could do. I do. I wouldn't all be surprised if it has something to do with the arts or with like something very creative, something kind of like, I don't know, new agey or like new, just almost like something you've never done before or would have never considered in the past and you're just at a point in your life where you're like you know what I'm doing it I've always wanted to be a realtor I know I could be an amazing realtor and I'm actually going to do it now and I'm going to kill it it's that kind of energy like and even a real realtor like there is that kind of there is a creative piece to it like you really have to figure out exactly how you want to like you know just build you and your brand it's a brand and it's um you know executing on that takes I, there's just a lot of I think creativity and like hard work and it's just yeah it's your brand and I get the kind of brand piece off of the king of wands I get the hard work off the seven of, Pen seven of pentacles and the high priestess I get this like oh my god how does she do it how do they do it how is this person actually doing it like they were this one month ago or last year and now they're this like I don't get it but you but you are you're doing it and you're killing it this is what you can look forward to there is true success but there's like these accolades that are just coming they're like jumping off the page um at you and I just feel like it's something not everyone can do like with real estate not everyone who has their realtor's license and practices real estate is killing it they're not all out there doing it to the best of their ability and just killing it but you would be and I don't know why the realtor excuse me oh my goodness thing jumps out at me because I don't anticipate everyone watching this wanting to go into real estate but it's just that's a good example to me because it's it feels entrepreneurial uh, also I think is the vibe I'm getting like this is you um really doing something that is a little more lone wolfy but high high maybe high stakes but high high payout high reward high high visibility um and this could also be maybe a little bit of a passion project maybe you aren't sure this is entirely going to pay your bills the first year or if it's exactly the direction you should be going, but I do think it's the direction you should be going. I think you're going to be incredibly good at this and I think you're going to make a lot of money doing it. Um, but I just, if you start it as like a passion project, much like my YouTube channel, then I think it will absolutely pay off. So that's the vibe I'm getting here. This could be a YouTube channel for you. Um, it has that kind of feeling to it. Okay. 
I want to see what you're going to love about this. And I don't think I asked this for another pile, but this feels a little bit different. Like this energy is just, I don't know, it's like more feminine. It's more flowy. And I still stand by this. This is, but this is like, you're your own boss. There's very much a sense here of like, you are doing it. Like, I'll speak to you when I have the time, you know, get that off my desk. Like whatever, like this is your world, your empire, your Whatever it is, this is all yours. I get that feeling. Um, and that's what you can look forward to. And maybe this is everything you've ever dreamed of and ever wanted, um, but you are doing it. Okay, what you can look, what did I ask? What was, uh, oh my God, what was the question? Okay, I'm gonna turn over three cards and what do I wanna reveal in these three cards? Um, what this is gonna feel like, like not just what you can look forward to, but like how is this gonna feel for you? How's it gonna change your life? Like what? what's the deal once you do this? And we've got, Ten of Cups, which is magic, absolute magic. The Empress, oh my God. Page of Swords. Okay, well, I'm gonna say the first thing that comes to mind, and it's probably not gonna to relate to everyone, but it definitely feels like if you wanna start a family or if you wanna spend more time with your family, um, and this absolutely is like the way to do that. This is, there is this big vibe off of like, this is gonna give you you back. This is gonna give you your time back, your beauty routine. You're gonna get that back. You're gonna sleep better. You're gonna be able to afford Botox if you want it. Like this is just you. There's this beauty, this like ultra kind of like feminine lusciousness that, that this job's gonna afford you. And it, it really feels like it's in the form of like time, money, diet, exercise, like your routine. Everything's just gonna get like richer and better and you're actually going to do it um and that could lead to starting a family or it just could lead to having like a better relationship with the people around you whether it's friends whether it's romantic whether it's family there's just this sense of like your home life this richness this energy this vibe like it's going to get really rich it's going to deepen it's going to feel everything's just going to feel more luscious like everything just the materials in your life are going to get richer the there is a little bit of a um at some point you are really gonna be able to spend some money and get some beautiful things. Like I kind of get that almost like psychic feeling off of that. Um, I didn't get this in the other, I, I think in the other piles, yes, there was, these people are gonna kill it. They're gonna be great. But there's this sense of like, you're gonna reach a point in this venture where you really are going to get to buy those things that you really have wanted to buy. And I don't think it's frivolous. I don't think it's like you throwing money away, but it's like, there are some things, there's some big purchases, there are some, things you really want and need and honestly this could be like this could be as big as your dream house this could be the car you've always wanted this could be but there's like a lifestyle that I think you're going to get to like merge into and it's going to be pretty um pretty spot on and this kind of is you just sitting there in your lifestyle in your chosen everything like this is the home I want this is the couch I want this is like the white loungewear that I have that's cashmere like I just there's a vibe here that things are going to get very cush very fast um but I do, I feel this family, this warmth, this kind of like, um, yeah, there's some romance, there's some love, there's just a lumped up feeling come of, coming off of this. So this pile started out, I couldn't quite put my finger on it, and now that I'm here, I'm like, ooh, yeah, this is, this is the pile. This is the pile that I would have wanted to have chosen. Even though the other ones were like a little more like out the gates, like hardcore, like, yes, you're gonna kill it, you have to do this, but this is like, I like this. There's a slow build, but like once it's there, it's it's big time. Um, Page of Swords. I feel like this card has literally come up in every reading because it 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 does say like you're sharpening your mind. Your mind is your mind wants this. It needs this. You're gonna start thinking about things differently, processing things differently, different thoughts, different thoughts that lead to new ideas, new inspiration. It's just it's that like it's you wanting more from your mind and getting it. And you know, this, yeah, this leads to ideas and it leads, it just leads to more money and it leads to like better conversations, better company, better, I don't know, better dinner parties. Like it just leads to all those little things that go somewhere, better relationships, better conversations with the person you're in a relationship with. It's just like everything's a little better and it starts with like kind of like a mindset and your intention and like just how your mind, how your how everything's firing. Like everything is getting better for you. Your world is getting a lot better. <laughs> um, in the past piles, I turned these cards over and you know what? These cards are kind of dark and I just don't feel like turning these over because this is such a like 
There's such a rosy glow coming off of these that honestly, I'm not feeling this deck. So I'm not going to pull, pull it out here because I don't think we need to tell you what it is you don't like about your current job or the one you just left. Like, it's not necessary. I just, I don't want to do it. Um, I actually, I don't know. I'm just feeling goodness here. I want to turn over. I haven't played with these cards in a long time, which could be good or bad. But um, I just want a message from spirit. Like, why... Why now? Let's see if we can even get a why now off of this. It might be like, drink more water. Um, okay, why now, spirit? You know, okay, why now? Here, I'm gonna stick with it. I like this card right here. Eee. Follow through. Okay, I'm feeling it. Uh, because you have followed through, because you have followed your gut, because you have gone with your instincts and you're finally doing it. And because I think you've actually followed through on some level with like a dedication um and it's it's the universe is paying you back like you are getting rewarded for your hard work um yeah because you followed through and you are following through and you will continue to do this it's a very very it's a very warm fuzzy message coming off these cards and when that happens excuse me i just literally burped into the camera um when the microphone when that happens um I kind of like to stop the reading because then the more I talk it just becomes I don't know a little too warm and fuzzy so I'm probably going to wrap this up but I hope this spoke to you I hope you feel it I hope this gives you the courage or the motivation to either pursue a new career or jump into this passion project go all in on it or just know you're in the right space whatever it is like I hope it works for you because I really I really feel it for you and there's just like just crazy, beautiful energy coming off this pile. So if it's yours, congratulations, you picked the best pile so far. Um, okay, thank you so much. Like, comment, subscribe. See you soon, goodbye. Thank you so much for being here and letting me read for you. We are doing a reading entitled What You Can Look Forward To If You Leave Your Job, like if you pursue a new career, um, or if you've just left your job, what this new job you're pursuing looks like. But this is just about, it's a life change, it's a career change, and it's, I guess, if it's something you wanna do, or a situation you find yourself in, why that's awesome and why you should do it. So um, it's a positive reading. And yeah, if you're here, I think you needed the positive reading. It's like a very, it's, a, it's, it's gonna help give you a nudge in the right direction. So uh, you picked this card for the 10 of Pentacles and there is this like, the, the energy of this card, because every pile has a different energy. It's very like, it's earthy, it's homey, it's creative, it's kind of like eclectic. It's just got this, bohemian kind of vibe to it but there is there's a happiness there's this sense of being like I'm into this I'm feeling this like there's this um excitement that comes off of it um yeah I I always say I can't explain it and then I try to explain it so maybe I can't explain it but yeah just that card of two hands touching and it feels like one's kind of like almost tattooed and there's this backstory and this you know, projection. It's just, it's very positive and there's just almost like a sexiness to it. So who knows, maybe this has something to do with like, this ties into a relationship and this might be one reason why you should be doing this. So I'm going to ask the first question right away, what you can look forward to if you leave your job or with this new job that you'll be taking, like what can you look forward to? Um, okay. Let's see. We have Ace of Pentacles, Two of Swords, and king of wands so it's completely new beginnings new fortunes new roots like new, all the things you want with a new job but in a very new kind of like blank slate but not as in like oh you're totally starting from scratch and things are going to suck but just this like you can look forward to new everything but in a very exciting way and not <laughs> new might sound scary to some people like if you don't love change this is already a big thing so like maybe you don't want everything to feel new but when i say new it's that excitement that comes when something is new slash exciting it's just that like with that comes this passion this is the king of wands there's this energy this passion this direction like you're gonna know where to channel your energy you're gonna know what to do with yourself like you're just gonna feel like all of a sudden there's kind of this blueprint that like wasn't there for you before you didn't know what to do before you didn't know where you were headed or what you're going and now I feel like you know what to do and I that's what I see in this two of swords like these tough decisions before 
that maybe you didn't know how to answer. And these could even be things like, do I buy a house? Do I put a down payment on a house? Do I plan for children? Do I have another kid? Do I get married? Like those decisions that maybe before they always had the caveat of like, well, I just have to see where my finances are at, or I don't know if this is the job I really, or career I really want to be in. And now these things are going to become very clear because I just feel like you're dealing with a whole new set of everything, like in a very, very good way. But there is, there's this newness that comes to it. And I do see this kind of clear slate. I wouldn't say it's like blank. It's because blank feels like almost confusingly stark, but it is like this there's something just very new and exciting. And I, I'm going to stop saying those words, but I can't stress that enough. Um, and I do get this energy, like, I don't know why, like bohemian, like there's something creative and passionate about this as well. Um, it could be entrepreneurial or it could be starting something that's like something you never would have imagined yourself doing, but you know you'll be good at it or something you wanted to do, but you never like dare you know, you never dare speak about it or it was so out there. It was so random. It was so like just your own dark little secret and now you're doing it. Like I, I can't explain it, but, um, this is, this is, I don't know if it's random, but it's your place though. It's also your place and it's going to make so many things in your life click. There's going to be clarity for you. Um, yeah. Okay. Let me, let me get more cards. I want to see like, why you're here um and with all the piles i feel like the question i've asked in the second layer has been a little different but why are you here because i want to see you or your situation a little more clearly like what's brought you to this and not necessarily here at this reading but like why are you here at this like new venture this new point in your life like what are you seeking Ooh, what are you seeking okay the tower love it seven of wands three of wands okay you are, you're seeking excitement. You're seeking change. You want to like almost set fire. You want something new. You want new and exciting, which is why I kept saying new and exciting because this is exactly what you want. You almost need this to survive. Like you want this, this fight, this energy, this, like you are ready to, I don't know, like almost like fight for what you want. Like you don't want, you don't want easy street anymore. You don't want something that's safe. You don't want the like career that just is predictable like now you're ready for like that next that challenge um and I don't know there is something challenging about this like you are going to have to prove yourself in this you're going to have to not only work hard because that's kind of cliche but there is an element of like there's something you're going to have to do to kind of build this up a little bit but it's it's yours and you're doing it and you honestly don't care how long it takes and I don't even think it's going to take that long like I think this is something that you're throwing so much of your passion and your energy and your like soul into um that it is really going to work and this is even a message like maybe you get a job offer that you aren't sure whether you've had it already or maybe it's like coming to you in the near future and it feels like you just can't put your finger on it like it's incredibly exciting and enticing but it's something you never really it's a space you never saw yourself in or you never thought you could pull it off. Like this might be that. And um, I, in my eyes, based on this reading, it's absolutely something to look forward to. Um, but yeah, you are, you've just been like scanning the horizon for what the hell is out there for you. Like what's going to make you feel this way? What is your direction? What's your purpose? Like what's your gift? And there is a piece of this too, that now that I say it out loud, you have this gift, whether you know it or not, this direction, this new career it will reveal an actual gift that you have. And I feel very strongly about that message because um, I think I got it off of this card and I couldn't really put it with a word. And I like when I can feel things clicking like that because it does feel like this is going to bring out a gift that you have. Um, this could be a talent for sales. It could be a talent for bringing people together. It could be a gift of like, um, and I don't want to say anything too broad because sales is broad, but it's like maybe you weren't in sales before and actually you really have a gift for it. And not just because you're like a fast talker, but because you're you're genuinely trustworthy. You're a you're someone that people want the information from. They want to go to you. They want you to manage the process. Like they trust you. They want to count on you. Like, um, yeah, you're just when or maybe your gift is it, it's an art or it's um creating something like with your hands or like, you know, in some computer program, like whatever it is, there is this, this sense of like, you're about to find why you were put on this planet. Like this is this, you're really about to find your purpose kind of, you know, in a, in a career space. Um, 
I get a romantic vibe off of this. I don't know if you're going to like meet the love of your life in this space or if it is going to like enrich your romantic life in some way, but I feel like it's going to lead you to something that is going to equal romance. So if you're already with a partner and you love them, I don't think this job, that's, it means that if you want to be in this relationship, something about this job is going to make, it's going to enhance the relationship you're in. Or if you're not in a relationship, it's going to like lead you to that person. And I, I really feel that. Um, so this pile, although it might've been hard to put my finger on in the beginning, or I don't know if it was, I can't remember, but one of the piles I struggled with. Um, I actually, I do, I see the message now very clearly. And of course the gift, cause I've said that a hundred times and that there is a, there is a romantic connected piece to this. And I just think that these pieces, once we put them together, means you're going to be very happy. And there's a chance that you wouldn't experience this if you didn't leave your current position um, or if you didn't step out of it and pursue this new thing and I almost feel like this opportunity is going to come at you in a way that you don't expect. Like you might be in your current job right now thinking you want to leave it. And then somehow this is going to like cross your path or fall on your plate. And you're going to think like, oh my God, should I do this? Like what? This is so out there. Like I would not have thought of this, but maybe it came to me for a reason. And if you ever feel yourself saying that, like maybe it's a sign, maybe this crossed my path for a reason. Maybe a friend put this opportunity in front of me or connected me with this one person or whatever for a reason, then I do think it's worth pursuing because that is, that's, that's the energy. That's the vibe I get. And it's an exciting vibe and it's fun and it's got a ton of potential and I love it for you. So I hope you like this energy as much as I do because it's pretty, um, it's pretty cool. So I want to see, these are quote cards. They have stuff on them, words. And I want to ask a question that I can get this from that's like, well, that I think this card can answer. So, um, you know, like, what's the name of your future lover isn't the right question, in other words. But what does your future feel like? What does it feel like? Um, okay. Choose who you are becoming. I like that. Um, I like that because I do think you have an opportunity to reshape things. You have an opportunity to step into this zone, this space, pick a path, a lane, whatever it is that kind of redefines you and can almost like set you on a whole new trajectory, your life, your world, your relationship. And I really want to stress if you're in a relationship and you're happy there, it does not mean that like, I really think you're going to remain in this happy relationship. I just, but if you're not, then I do see excitement from someone new. But if not, I really see excitement coming to you in this relationship, like new I don't know, like new inspiration, like new ways to make this relationship even better and ways you guys can like grow together and things you can experience together. It's just like a whole new you just wakes up one day and you're like, oh my God. Um, and I do, I think there's a, this is going to bring about this kind of like choice of this is who you want to be and this is how you help choose that. And yeah, I think this is going to cross your path somehow. So if you're looking for a job, don't write off anything as far as like it being an option or um, I don't know, maybe this is a job you apply to when you're like, I would never get considered for this or I don't even think I would want to do this like or that's not a good example, but like I never saw myself doing this, but I think I'd love to do it kind of thing. That's a better example. That's the vibe here. So yay for you. I definitely think um, this is there's a lot to look forward to. And there is truly there is a depth that comes off of this. There's like a richness. There's a almost like a weight. There's something that happens here that is like very unexpected for you. Um, and maybe this gift is something you didn't even really know you had and you're really good at it. Like it's, 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 it's you, it's something other people see. It's something you develop even further. Like this, there's just, there's, there's something coming off the cards that really, really needs to be explored. You owe it to yourself to explore it. And I do believe you're here for a reason. So I believe, I mean, here at this reading, I believe you're like on the planet for a reason too, but like you're at this reading for this message. If you truly landed here and you really are wondering what you can look forward to in a new career, um, whether you leave your job or left your job or whatever. Um, okay. I'm going to stop it here. I've talked too much. Um, okay. Good luck to you. I think, I don't think you need my luck. Thank you so much is what I meant to say. And like subscribe, comment if you're feeling it. Thank you. Goodbye.